What's up guys? Paramoto here. How are you guys doing today? Today, I am doing just fantastic. I hope you guys are too. So today guys, I want to revisit a video suggested by KS Moto Cafe. KS Moto Cafe wanted me to revisit the should you run from police video. I did this video a couple years ago and he wants an update since we have more subscribers and you know like more input that we can give each other. It seems almost fitting that we're running by the courthouse while we're talking about should you run from police or not. So should you run from the police when you're pulled over on a motorcycle? Man this is kind of a hard question to answer from like a responsible person's point of view. I kind of understand both sides. There's multiple different sides that you can take when answering this question. Man, we are just stoplight to stoplight out here. So should you run from the police if you're pulled over by a police officer? This is kind of a hard question to answer. Um, I'm a generally responsible person, so I'm not trying to make the decision for you guys. Um, I'm just here to simply try to inform you of the different ways that things can go. So I will say off the rip, that most police officers have ridden a motorcycle or are currently riders. So you're typically already in good company when you get pulled over by most police officers. Most of them are going to be pretty understanding. That's not saying that there isn't an occasional dickhead Sadie that will throw the book at you even though you did almost everything right, you know, as far as pulling over and being polite and stuff like that. That's a, you can't control that. Like, that's just something that might happen. But I will say, for the vast majority of police officers, most of them are riders or have been riders, and they're going to be lenient. You know, there's a long and storied history of motorcyclists running from the police officers. And, you know what, to be honest with you, you know, if you stop for a police officer, that instantly already shows respect. That already shows that you're like a normal, reasonable person. And you know what? You're already starting the day with brownie points. So the first thing that I want to talk about is, you know, the fact that running from the police, although if you're on one of these bikes, like a track missile, you're likely going to get away that day. You are. I mean, it's just likely going to happen. A lot of police departments even have no chase policies. The thing that you can't outrun is the fact that they can, you know, most likely take down your license plate and look for you later. Like this right here is a very distinct motorcycle. A white Ducati Penangali with red, you know, wheels is going to stick out. And you know what? Police are going to see it pretty easily. Now, that being said, I, I'll get away for the day, but I probably won't get away in the long term. You know, and it's, it's highly illegal. In most places, running from the police is at the very least a felony. You know, in North Carolina, if I flee to elude my uh, my citation, it's going to be a felony. It's felony, felony fleeting to a, elude arrest. A citation is a form of arrest in North Carolina, and if I ran from the police, it, it is just the same as if I if I leave the police on a high speed chase. So let's just say you get busted going stupid fast, right? I mean, and you know what? A lot of us motorcyclists do it. We all go stupid fast from time to time. But let's just say hypothetically. You were busted going stupid fast. You could get away. Or you could slow down and pull over for the police officer. If you slow down and pull over, you are guaranteed that you will most likely just get a ticket. And you'll be, you know, on your way that day. Still riding. Still riding your motorcycle. You stop, you pull over. You get your traffic ticket. You will be let to go on your own accord. You'll live to ride another day. You will even very much likely keep your bike without a problem, you know, and no issue. If you run from the cops, they're going to tow your bike. They're going to charge you with a felony, which means you're going to guarantee to go to jail. And your insurance rates are probably going to go up so high, you won't ride anytime soon. I know a lot of people that have ran from the police and have not gotten away. Either they've like run out of gas, their motorcycles have broken down, or they've crashed. And it's just, it's not a fun time. It's not a fun time for them whatsoever. Now, I feel the need to state the obvious when it comes down to running from the police. That the other facet of this is that it's extraordinarily dangerous to run from the police. Like, running from the police in these narrow roads with cars all over the place going 100 plus miles an hour is not good for your safety. It's not good at all. I mean, a lot of police officers won't chase you if you're on your motorcycle. That is true. But occasionally, you'll find an agency that does chase motorcycles. Like in North Carolina, the Sheriff's Department and also Stadies will chase motorcycles. Your local guys like Raleigh and stuff, they won't chase you. But like the Stadies will. And, and they'll chase you till your wheels fall off. They don't care. So let's just say you're going 150 miles an hour down this road here. This is Glenwood. 
you're going 150 miles an hour down this road and you wreck you're probably gonna die you're probably gonna die and it's it's probably not even without question that you're gonna die it's like this risk versus benefits like you're risking a traffic ticket versus you know death you know like it, it doesn't really make sense to run if you're risking your life it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me so you run from the cops and you get away you know what the cops are gonna be looking for you they'll probably identify you later you pull over by the cops you, you pull over you actually you you like submit yourself to the police officer you get a traffic ticket at worst and you're sitting on your way you have some headaches you get a court date your insurance might go up a little bit but you're still alive you know like you're still alive you're still gonna be riding they're not gonna take your motorcycle away from you you know and you don't die that's probably the biggest thing you don't die there's a guy in North Carolina that I always mention when somebody talks to me about running from the cops is that this guy ended up running from uh, a statey or um, it was either a statey or like a, a Johnson County deputy and uh, they chased this motorcyclist until the motorcyclist crashed and this motorcycle didn't have like this little tiny crash where like he low slided and got some road rash he he was dead he was going over 100 miles an hour on an r6 on a back country road the hill crested so he couldn't see past it and he ended up wrecking going head first underneath the pickup truck eating the trailer hitch on his way in apparently his helmet opened like a book and his brains just spilled out it's just not worth it it's not worth it at all so actually um i got to talk to that deputy I'm uh, not too long after that wreck and uh, he he said that the guy that that he was chasing was actually a soldier who came up from Fort Bragg and was just doing stupid stuff on a motorcycle and he was a veteran himself and he's like dude I get it like if you're a veteran and I pulled you over like dude you're not gonna take it like you're not gonna take it at all you know and it's like this guy risked his life and he gave his life to try to get out of a traffic ticket that he would have at the end of the day not even gotten if you could almost like go back in time and tell this kid like hey bro don't run dude like he's not even gonna give you a ticket now, he's probably gonna give you a tongue lashing and that's gonna be it but instead he risked his life and he gave his life to get out of a traffic ticket to attempt to get out of a traffic ticket he wasn't even a good enough rider to get away from a sedan which is a police car a sedan you know with an r6 so it was a very bad decision on his part very bad and you know what a lot of us have stories of this you know motorcyclists crashing or dying running from the police it's just not worth it to me so my personal experience especially with police officers in this area of north carolina is that they're actually really cool like yeah i mean i got a friend that he got a cnr from a state trooper and you know what he like stopped pulled over did everything that you were supposed to do still got a careless and reckless ticket like it happens you know but i've been pulled over by a statey and he let me off with a verbal warning i've been pulled over by raleigh police they let me off with a verbal warning like it, it was no big deal and, you know it, it's just to me it just has never been worth the risk you know generally i ride pretty pretty tame and if i feel like going and doing something stupid it's gonna be way out away from everybody you know but generally i ride pretty tame and i stay pretty responsible but you know every once in a while i do get popped by the police officer and you know what every time has been a more than positive experience i've had a lot of i've come away with a lot of respect for police officers after so at the end of the day i am trying to convince you guys to make a safe decision i am i am definitely biased towards one way of this argument and you know what i'm not ashamed of it because i've seen people die and i've seen people change their lives because of motorcycle accidents namely one of my friends that actually had to learn to retie his shoes after wrecking into a telephone pole and i want to see my fellow motorcyclists actually make safe good decisions but i'll also say that you need to make the decision that that is right for you you know and you know i hope i gave you enough information to make the decision that's right for you when it comes down to dealing with the police as a motorcyclist you know what all of my uh interactions with the police here have been overwhelmingly positive i know there's every once in a while you'll get a dickhead cop like it's just it's just inevitable there's you know good and bad in everybody there's good and bad in every profession but at the same point dude just you know being chill is probably the way to go it just is what it is you gotta you gotta take a risk but i'll be honest with you as long as you were being pretty reasonable and personal and you pass the attitude with test with the police officer you're likely not gonna walk away with the ticket 
So you're risking you're risking getting a felony over what's probably not even gonna happen. So again, make the decision that's right for you guys. But but overall, please be safe out there. Your family wants to see you come home. You know, I want to promote a good positive motorcycle community, and I know there's people out there that want to see you come home for your motorcycle rides. So above all, be safe. Keep the sticky side down. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.